This is a tutorial on how to do sp specular maps for models for FS19. You will need a few programs to do this. Um, I will leave links to them in the description below. So you'll need Blender, Substance Painter, Giants Editor, and GIMP. So, first thing you'll do is once you have your model done, so this is just a test cube that I made. It's just cube with with bevels on it. Um, you just go over to your right right hand side here in the material t tab. Just hit new. And then add new material slot. Rename it. Spec test, and then assign. And go down to the object data, go to UV maps, and just hit this minus. So what this this does is just removes this UV map in this uh, tab here. So normally it would look like this in the UV panel, but once you remove the UV map, it'll just be gone like that. So. Once you're done that, just um, hit save, and then go down to export as .fbx, and just do it anywhere, if you, wherever you want. I'll just read it my desktop, and then bring it over to Substance Painter. Go to new, select the file, spec test. Um, uncheck this use UV tile workflow and auto unwrap check that and then just hit OK uh, depending on the model it will take a while to do this but it's just a cube that's beveled so it won't take that long okay so once you're in here you go up to properties oh first thing I should mention um, Substance Painter, you'd need a shelf folder that has a Giants Editor, or Giants Materials, I should say. So I will also leave a download to that link in the description. Um, once you have that installed, though, um, you come down to here to Material and uncheck all of this, except for Color and Dirt. And then go to Brushes and just search up Dirt. So there's dirt one, dirt two, and dirt three. That's what I like to use. You could use, I think, whatever you want. But you, know, you just start painting. You can adjust the um, size, the flow, stroke capacity, and spacing. So, I mean, this could take a while. Just depends on how detailed you want your spec map. I'll just paint around it like randomly. Okay, so once you're done painting, go to Bake Mesh Maps, uh, Bake Selected Textures. This will also take a while, depending on the model and how, how complex it is. Okay, and then once it's done, Go up to File, Export Textures. Um, you could do whatever you want. I'll just do my desktop, like I said. And then the Output Template. You'll go up here to Giants Engine 8 Asset Second UV. Hit that. And then Export. And then Save Settings. And then go back, tap to file, export mesh, and then also do desktop, whatever you want. So there will also be an FBX on your desktop from when you export it to Blender. You'll just have to rename it something differently so that you can differenti differentiate between the two. Um, so yeah, just hit save, and then export, and there's 
you just close substance. You can save it if you want, but I'm not going to. Okay, um, so now once you have that done, um, you will have this sort of green looking thing on your desktop or wherever you saved it. Just once you, once you have GIMP installed, of course, just uh, right click it, open with GIMP. Sometimes GIMP can take a while to open. But so now once you're here, you got got it loaded in. Go up here to the top. You go to set, go to colors, components, decompose. Yeah, RGB and decompose to layers. So. So um, the red layer is scratches slash wear. Green layer is ambient occlusion. And then blue layer is dirt. So you can see if I have all these checked, this is where I painted the dirt. And then this is the ambient occlusion, which won't really be anything there. And then this is the wear. It has nothing on it. So you just select the red layer. Go up to File, Export as, Desktop, Layer, Layer, Export, Open Backup Blender, Go to File, Import, FBX and then spec test cube which is the one that has the spec map and the UV map correctly made um, so now once you're here go to texture paint open In this tab, go to base color, image texture, open, and then wear layer. See now, now, now that I painted, uh, I'll just do a little bit just so you can get the gist of it. See, wherever I painted, it will print off into the this UV tile workflow. So this is where you can really get creative with the wear. So you, you, you can choose where exactly where you want the wear to be. Um, so for example, if you wouldn't want wear in a cab, but you would want wear on, on, uh, on hair tines or, or whatever whatever that would re realistically get wear in it. So once you have that all painted, you just go up to image, save as, desktop, wear layer painted. There we go. Um, go over back over to GIMP, delete the red layer. Open as layers. Oops. Go up to file, and then open as layers, and then wear layer painted. So now it'll show up with the so that I painted. So wear, ambient occlusion, and dirt. So now once you have those three painted, uh, go up to colors, components, compose, RGB, and just just leave this alone. There and then, once once this is generated, just go to File, Export as, Spec Test Cube. It's loading. Finished. Make sure not to save in your System 32. Just 
saving your desktop. Export and then say to export. Oh, I messed something up. Um, just delete that. Finished D DDS. Yeah, save as dot DDS compression uh, BC one DXT one and then mip maps generate mip maps export. Now um, I'll just close these blender tabs for now. Let's open back up Blender, import FBX spec test cube. Now this is where you go into UDIM. Um, so there's also um, Giants materials that you need for Blender and I can't remember where you get them. I will try to leave them in the description below if um, I remember but this is where it will give you the predefined materials or the selectable colors so basically if you pick chrome it will just be chrome it will be it will be the the set color and material but if you hit color uh, zero or up to seven which I'll do for now I'll just hit select all and control zero this will bring it one UV tile down um, and then go back down to make the material in edit mode just to assign. Um, once you're done UDIMing, like obviously depending on the model, you'll have lots of different things um, to UDIM, UDIM and different materials. Um, and this is also where you're going to separate anything that needs to be separated. So if you're doing a, like a front load or anything that needs to be separated, you can also do that now. Um, and then you dim it. Now, uh, once you've done that, go up to File, Save, Cube, U dim. And then File, Export, is I3D, Cube, U oh, forgot to mention something. Um, uh, once you're done UDIMing, just go up to this modifier page, add modifier, edge split, and then basically that, that'll just make the cube have a hard surface so it won't, it won't look round in uh, Giants Editor or in game. Now you can go back to file and then export as i3D. Just export as i3D. Okay, um, so now just open up your UDIM cube or whatever model you're doing just go over to it so now go to gloss map and then this is where you'll be selecting it so spec test cube finished go down to custom shader Shader source, farming simulator. So this is program files, Steam, Steam apps, common farming simulator 19, and then data, shaders. Scroll down to vehicle shader, and then color mask. So there we go. I'll just create a light so you can see a little bit better. So, it has a dirt that you painted, like, well, I painted, but now you have a custom model and spec map. So, this is the where, the RDT zero, and then, and then the second one is dirt. So once he has it zero, it just can remove it. And there you go. Now this where is custom.
and the dirt is also custom. So that's how you, that's how I make spec maps. I know it is a little bit more difficult than having Substance make it for you, but I think it looks a lot better, honestly. But yeah. Then let's go to select the object key, uh, um, uh, attributes, and then shape, and then just do cast shadow map. There you go. Now it won't look so weird in game. So yeah, that's basically it. I mean, it is fairly difficult, but this will make your models look ten times better. It looks really good, honestly. You could see it better if you disable the post effects editing. Yeah. Uh, just give you a quick uh, rundown on Udem. So since since we uh, this um, selected color zero, that is color map zero. So 0 0.8, 0 0.55, and 0 0.05 is ye this yellow color. So the higher the number, the whiter it'll be. So one and one is white, but zero, zero, and zero is black. So you can basically figure out what color you um what uh, values you need to put in there. There's a program that I have that that will give me the values I need to put in there, but I can't remember where I got it from. But it is really useful like that. Um, and then this final value right here, this one. This is uh, the material. So one is painted plastic. Uh, zero is painted metal. And uh, there's a bunch of different materials. I'll leave a link in the description to um, a Google Drive document that has all the different uh, materials and, and the values you need to put in there. So yeah, th that's, I mean, Udemy isn't hard, but it's just hard to get um, the hang of. There's not a good tutorial on it, see. So, hope you found this helpful. I hope um, I explained it fairly well. Uh, if you need any help, just put it in the comments. I'll try and help you. I probably left out some important de details that um, I sh probably should have told you about, but um, yeah. Anyways, I think that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope this helps you guys. At least helps one of you guys. Um, anyways, talk to you later.